let's talk about exponential functions. Um, before we talk about functions, let's go back to stuff that we have already been familiar with and just kind of a quick little review. When we see notation that looks like this, this is exponential notation, we must be familiar with the proper vocabulary and terminology. The 2 here, or the number on the bottom, is called the base. Oh, that's not very pretty there. Base. This is going to be extremely important as we continue through working with exponential functions. Also, when we get into logarithmic functions, it's going to be crucial that you understand um, what the base is. You'll hear that word over and over and over again. Also, this 5 here we call the exponent or the power. So we need to know those vocabulary words because we're going to be seeing them a lot. All right, for just for this video instruction, we're going to be concentrating on how to use our calculator to evaluate exponentials. So we're going to be doing each one of these on the calculator. If you need to pause real quickly so that you can write those down, because I will not be flipping back over to this page once I pull up my calculator screen. All right, let's go ahead and let's move to our calculator screen so that you can see exactly how we would put each one of those in. The first one was 5 raised to the 1.7 power. So on our calculator, we can hit 5, and then we're going to use our up caret here, and then 1.7. We can literally do any exponential on the calculator uh, just by using that up caret and then enter. If I were going to round this to three decimal places, this would be 15.426. All right, the next one said we were going to do 5 raised to the 1.73 power. Now you could type this in again, but I also would like to show you a little trick on the TI calculator. If we have something entered in and we just kind of want to um, edit it sort of, we can hit second and then the enter key. Do you see how entry is written right above here in blue on mine? It may be yellow on yours. That second will activate that menu so we want our last entry. And now we don't have to retype it and we can just hit three to add that to the end. And then when I hit enter, rounded to um, three decimal places, this would be 16.189. Now again, for the next one, it's supposed to be 5 raised to the 1.732 power. So again, to save steps, I'm going to hit second, enter, bring back up what I have last, and then just edit. So I'm going to add a 2 to the end and then hit enter. So rounded to three decimal places, that would be 16.241. Now the last one says 5 raised to the square root of 3. This may look like something very strange to do on your calculator, but you absolutely can. We can hit 5 raised to the, now my square root button is right here above the x squared, so to access that I have to hit second and then x squared and it put a square root on my calculator and then three, now I have to close the parentheses. When I did the square root it automatically opened one so I have to close it to balance it out and then hit enter and round it to three decimal places, that would be 16.242.